Hello and welcome to the Biopharma Finder help video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a custom filter to the component table, the results table in the processing and review tab in the peptide mapping workflow. So here you'll see we have the component table and I'm going to show you how to create a custom filter on the Delta PPM. So you click on the down arrow select custom. Another box will show, show up and we're going to add a condition and our first condition is going to be uh, we're going to say less than and you can type a value in here so we're going to say we'll put a type value on here we'll say less than two and then we're going to add another condition Actually, our last thing would be negative two, sorry. So negative two. And we're gonna, I know we had to get that backwards. So we're gonna say negative two. We're gonna be greater than negative two. And we're gonna be less than two. Because the delta PPM can be either a positive number or a negative number. And so you want it to be that way. Now, if you need to change the toggle, which in this case, we're gonna wanna change it because here we have it as an AND, and we're going to want to toggle it back and forth. So now we have it as an OR, and we'll click it and see if we get it right. Okay, so it must have gotten it incorrect. So let's try it again. I usually screw this up. So let's go to Custom, Add. We're going to say less than to add a condition greater than negative 2. Change our toggle to AND, and that gets our filter. So then you could check it and make sure you got it correct. So now, if you would like to move, remove a specific modification, so let's say you don't want to see the isomerization, for example, we see that here as a modification. So the way you could use a filter here would be you can click on this sign, and you could say does not contain. So we could then type. Isomerization. So you start as you start to type it, it'll actually remove whatever contains that specific word that we typed. Okay, so you don't have to actually spell it all out, or you can go ahead and spell out the whole thing. Now, if you wanted to um, get rid of isomerization and let's say sodium addicts and the gas phase um, uh, Y13 in this example, what you could do then is do a combination. So we could say custom, come up here, we can, um, so we already have does not contain isomerization, so we can add another condition, and we can say does not contain NA, so that would get rid of the sodium, and then we can add another one, does not contain gas, and you could actually do gas phase, you could do dash Y13 for that specific one, or we could do just gas phase. Now get rid of all of those, and then we hit OK. So now if we sort, and we can see now we have non-specifics, nons, and disulfide bonds. Now if you want to specifically pull out disulfide bonds, there's a way you could do that as well. You can use the identification column, and you could hit equals, and you can do contains, and then you could do this. The, the slash because all of the disulfide bonds have that slash. So now you're looking at all disulfide bond peptides that are within um, the two ppm mass tolerant error window. You can always remember that you have filters turned on. So if you see this little symbol that indicates that a column is being um, filtered. So you want to just make sure you don't forget that you, you do have a filter on. Now there's a, another really interesting one that I like to use, um, and it's, you can use it for the abundance. So you can go here to equal, and you can come down to top percent. So you could say top percent, and we could say the top 5%. That would show the top 5% of the abundant peptides that you actually see. And the, in this case, we're looking at the top 5% of the disulfide bonded peptides. Now something that's very, um, also nice about the software in the table is that I could check these. So I could check just this small group and then I could right click 
and I could export just this small group. Okay, so you're able to export these out. Now, the other thing that I could do is I can, it will remember these nine, which are disulfide bonded specific peptides. If I clear this one, so to clear it, you just click here. Now it's gone. And now what we're looking at, and you'll see that we have components that are checked and we have components that aren't checked. And we're still looking at the top 5%. So you see, um, we went from nine components to we have 21 components, but it still remembered those ones that we, so we could actually, so I could um, check this group. Now, if I wanted to clear, let's see what else we wanted. Let's clear the top to 5%. And if I sort, I could sort here by those checked components, and we should see those 21 components checked. So the power behind that is you can apply different filters select a, a subgroup of components, and then under your filters, select another uh, subgroup of components and build a list of different things. So this is really how you can build a custom list of using all the different types of uh, filters that we offer in this call, in this, uh, this specific table. Uh, let's see, what else could I show you? Um, that's probably it from, but each one of these, so, so if you want to pay attention, there's always click to the left and you have a lot of different options and always click to this little right and you can see the different options you have here. So blank or non-blank and the custom. And really the custom, you really just have to play around with this until you figure out which way you want it to go. Um, it is a little bit tricky when you have to use the and or the or and as I showed you, I often make mistakes with that. But if you just pay attention to what you see in the column, it'll help you figure that out. Okay, great. Thanks for uh, paying attention and I hope you enjoy the software.